guys, welcome back. Okay, so just in case you are new to my channel or this is your first palette collection video of mine that popped up in your feed that you are watching, this is actually part two. So if you wanna see my complete palette collection, you would need to watch part one, which actually was the catalyst for this whole palette collection video series. I did not want to do a palette collection video because I have a lot of palettes <laughs> and my beauty space is just in complete disarray right now, you guys. But I said, you know what, let me go ahead and go through my palettes so, you know, I can see what's happening and just kind of revisit some of my palettes. So that's how I ended up here. Part one is basically me really going through my palettes and just kind of seeing similarities in color stories for my palettes so that I can get a better understanding of the types of palettes that I typically gravitate towards to purchase, which quite honestly, I gravitate to everything <laughs> because I love makeup. So anywho, I have a lot more palettes to go through you guys. So if this video gets too long, I think what I'll do is I'll do like indie brands and affordable palettes in this video and then I will do like my higher end and prestige type palettes in my last video. I'm gonna try and squeeze everything into this video but just in case I wanted to let you guys know that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So as you can see I do have some, hi, <laughs> I do have some palettes here that I'm gonna start off with. Um, unlike my first video, these are not by color story. I just had to kind of dive in and pull everything out. So I'm going to try and keep them by brand as much as possible, but we'll see what happens. Okay. So as you can see here, I have a couple of interesting palettes <laughs> right here on my desk. This is from the Beat House Cosmetics. This was kind of like, it's a limited edition commemorative palette for the year 2020 and very glittery, very gold. Um, I've never used it, of course. I really just bought it <laughs> because 2020 has been a year like no other. But this is what the palette looks like. It's actually quite gorgeous <laughs> if I wanted to use it. So yeah, I don't even know if they have these anymore, but if they do, I think it's kind of cute to have, even though a lot of us might want to forget 2020. I think this is a really, really cute palette. So got that. I also picked up this palette <laughs> from Black Power. Well, it's the Black Power palette from Black Cosmetics. And sorry for the glare, but it looks like a black fist, of course. And this is what the palette looks like. Very, very pretty colors in here as well. I never used this. Like I said, it's another palette that I picked up. Really just kind of like a memento of this year and some of the things that we went through. It's like a black, kind of like um, a homage to black queens in history. It does have some information over here about different black queens and um, what they've done and accomplished. So I kind of really like this palette as well. Don't plan on using it. It's very, very cute. Now this palette here, my daughter actually got me. Um, I'm gonna try not to talk too much because this video is going to be ridiculously long, but my daughter bought me this, of course, because it's a K Colorful Camille. This is Keisha Kaor's first palette that she came out with. A very unique <laughs> palette as you can see it has her signature in there a mirror it came with this really cute brush as well but this is what this palette looks like so really pretty kind of red tone palette some deep dark blacks in there and beautiful shimmers but yeah I have that okay so next let's move into some of these palettes here these are newer to my collection if you watched my haul you've already seen these this is from clarity cosmetics juicy peach and this is what this palette looks like really really gorgeous this is chocolate seduction palette from clarity cosmetics this is what this palette looks like look at those shimmers oh that's gorgeous this is the Blue Royale. This is what this palette looks like. Can't wait to dive into this one. <laughs> no pun intended. This here is from Give Me Glow. This is the Sweet and Sticky. 
This is what this palette looks like. Oh, so pretty. And I did, like I said, show my other palettes from these brands in my previous video. Now, this is from Moira. I just got these in the mail the other day. They had a nice sale, so I picked up a couple more of their palettes. This one is called Wonderlust. And I thought this color story was so, so pretty. I also picked up this one, which is called Wild in Color. And this is what this one looks like. I kind of hesitated because you guys know I don't like, you know, the strange shapes and palettes. But that center quad, those blues with that purple, oh, I really, really want to check this out. Now these are some older palettes in my collection. I have some from Ace Beauté. This is the Paradise Fallen. Gorgeous purple shades. Beautiful. This one here, Blossom Passion. This one I think is my least favorite in the collection, but it's still a really, really gorgeous pinky red palette. These are from Pinky Rose. This one is the Bright Lights. <laughs> I chased this palette for months because it was sold out. Finally got it and only used it like once. <laughs> but it's really, really gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous palette. Has some glitters in there too. Very pretty. Another from Pinky Rose. This is my 80s baby. This is one of my favorite color stories from this uh, collection. Very pretty, very unique selection that they put together here. This one here is Center Stage. Very beautiful, like warm tone color story. If you like more, you know, neutral type eye looks. Very pretty. And then lastly, I have this Obsessed. And this one I really like. <laughs> this one really kind of puts me in the mood of like the 80s, even though it says 90s love. I don't know. I guess the 90s too. But yeah, the 80s were pretty bright and colorful as well. So very, very pretty palette. Okay, let's check out some of these. Now, I did just purchase some new items from Rude Cosmetics. This is the New Orleans French Quarter. Um, the other new palette that I purchased, I showed in my first video, but this is pretty. It's like a face palette along with eyeshadows. Now, I know I bought this just because it's gorgeous because I never use like eyeshadows and face products in the same palette so I really have to decide where I want to store this do I want to store this with my face products or my eyeshadow I haven't decided yet but it's really really pretty next I have here the lingerie collection this one is called naughty nights naughty nights <laughs> and this is what this palette looks like so so pretty whenever you have the reflective background it kind of tries to drown everything out so hopefully you can see the colors there this one is called wild nights from the same collection all matte both of these are all matte i believe but this one is a little more what i would call grown and sexy not so bright and in your face very very pretty this is the roaring 20s reckless oh i just got this and y'all Look at this color story. I cannot wait to get into this. <laughs> I could sit here and just talk about this all day. This is so bomb. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. This is right up my alley. Now, I did grab a couple of palettes from Kimchi Chic. Um, I saw my girl Lily with these and I was like, I just, I gotta try them. I gotta try them. So this one is You Make Me Happy. <laughs> And I could see why they called it that. It just kind of looks like a candy bowl, really. Very, very pretty. Haven't tried this out yet. I really need to use this because I'm curious about the quality. This one is called I Am Feeling Sweet. And this one is the Warm Neutral. So, very, very pretty. Look at those shimmers, you guys. Okay, let's take a look at some Black-owned brands here. This one is one of the Black Magic palettes from Uma Beauty, Savage. 
So this is what this looks like. It's like an American flag palette, 4th of July. This one is Poise. Look at that artwork, gorgeous. And this is what Poise looks like. Your basic neutral palette with a pop of blue. Nothing special, some pretty shimmers in there though. These are from a brand called Girl Meets Makeup. I did show one of these in my first video. This one is the Cosmos palette. Look at this. Gorgeous. Oh, like I said before, her color stories are bomb. This is so pretty. And as you can see, all of her palettes look the same. They just have the color story on the back. This one is called Gloomy. And this is what Gloomy looks like. Next, I have a couple of palettes from Urban Vibes Cosmetics. This one is Volume 2. And this is what she looks like. And y'all, this shimmer up here. Oh, yes, she is duochrome, honey child. She is duochrome and she is gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Urban Vibes Cosmetics. This one is the Midnight Obsessions. So I'm assuming this might have been volume one. I'm not sure. But absolutely gorgeous. I used this palette once, I believe, and really had a nice time. Enjoyed using it. Very, very pretty, bold, pigmented shadows in here. Very nice. Interesting color story. I have a couple of colored rain eyeshadow palettes now i did already show the safari rain which is one of my absolute favorite from colored rain this is the power which is my uh another one of my favorites from them Ugh. if you don't have this palette honey i don't know what you're doing with your life because this creates some of the most beautiful eye looks burgundy purple tone oh it's beautiful i love it and this is the juicy boost <laughs> Got some mixed reviews. Not exactly my favorite palette either. I pretty much hate the shimmers. The mattes are fine to me, but the shimmers, mm -mm. well, especially this pink one here. The other two are okay, but that pink one is the worst. But other than that, I really like these shadows. I'm still trying to decide if I want to depot them and put them in with all of my other colored rain singles or if I want to keep it in here. I kind of like this palette. It's really pretty, so I might not depot this. Okay, have a few more smaller palettes here. This palette, <laughs> I actually just bought on a whim. This is from Pretty V. She did a collab with the Glamatory. I had never heard of the Glamatory, but I like Pretty V with her crazy self. She's so funny, really crazy. Um, you know, I know her from IG and she just cuts up and acts a fool, but she's very inspirational, God fearing. And I really love that about her. So I said, you know, let me go ahead and support my girl. So this is her cute little palette. <laughs> I don't know if I will ever use this because, you know, some palettes I purchased just to support people. But it is a really pretty palette. And the reason why I say I might not use it is because there's a lot of glitter. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of glitter okay but it's really gorgeous okay so yeah that's from pretty v another collab palette that i have this is the pure and raw beauty christie collab i'm sure everybody knows about this so it's the two-sided palette with the neutral side as well as the colorful side i did use the colorful side of course and it's a decent palette i mean you know Either a lot of people either like pure or they don't. It's fine for me. But yeah, that is her palette. I think I only have one palette from Minted Cosmetics. This one is the Everyday Eyeshadow Palette. It's not really, you know, my vibe, but it's pretty. It's definitely perfect for, you know, just your basic, simple, everyday looks. This wouldn't be an everyday look for me because an everyday look for me would involve blue and purple. <laughs> so yeah, it's really, really pretty though. This one here, another indie brand that I came across. I actually purchased this palette. It's from Beauty by Stoney, the Remedy Eyeshadow Palette. And they reached out to me and they sent me one. So I did give one away. 
but yeah i have a video using this palette if you're curious really really pretty shades in here gorgeous nice palette it really is this one here is the luna magic uno i believe the name of the brand yeah is luna magic lunamagic.com i came across them on instagram i believe i always forget are they afro latina i think they're afro latina but really really beautiful sisters um that own and run this company gorgeous i don't think i've used this yet either i notice a lot of some of the indie brand palettes that i purchase have a lot of blues and purples and pinks in them so i have a lot of palettes with some of the same shades in them but yeah very very nice i need to use this though that looks really pretty that looks like that green and brown kind of shimmer this one here is called queen's flower eyeshadow palette from bbs cosmetics another black owned indie brand gorgeous Ooh, that green is really pretty really pretty i'm not sure if i use this or not it looks like i might have but i don't think i have gorgeous though look at that packaging Next, I have here from Makeup Addiction. This is the Sinful Eyes. I really like this palette. I did a palette bingo with my two besties here on YouTube using this palette. Hated the shades that it chose for us, but our looks actually came out pretty cute. <laughs> so, yeah, I did purchase a few other Makeup Addiction palettes, but because they're magnetic, I did pop them out and put them in a magnetic palette for myself. So, but this palette is really, really nice. It's really pretty. Some of these shimmers I'm not really excited about because they're more like toppers than, you know, opaque shimmers. So that's kind of annoying, but they are buildable. So yeah, but I wish like some of these gold and bronze shades were more opaque and less topperish, if you know what I mean. This one here, SS Chic. This is called the Mini Levi Palette. Um, but yeah, it's from SS Chic Boutique. I don't like the fact that the packaging has basically nothing on it <laughs> except a sticker with a brand name because I always have to remember the name of the palette. This is the Mini Levi palette. And I hate it because it's so gorgeous. This palette is so pretty. I actually just used this on an Instagram video that I did. If you're curious about, you know, what it looks like, nicely pigmented, easy to use, shimmers, shapopin'. So it's a, a really nice palette, but I just kind of wish they'd at least put a sticker with the name of the palette on it. <laughs> okay, so I just have a few more random palettes here. This one I bought um, that Kylie just came out with. This is my first and only Kylie Jenner palette. She's come out with a few palettes that I thought were pretty, but I don't know. I don't really care for the reviews, so I wanted to try one for myself. So this is the one that I decided to pick up. I do like animal print and whatnot. So <laughs> this is the one that I purchased. Haven't tried it out yet. Of course, it's just kind of neutrals. Has this little blue gray shadow in here, but I thought it was pretty. So I'm gonna see what's happening with Kylie Cosmetics with this palette. Now this one here is one from, what's the name of this brand? September Rose. This is the Brew Palette. I wanted this palette for so long and I finally picked it up this year. Um, it's just a really gorgeous, like neutral red toned palette. Got a couple really pretty gold shimmers in there. Um, but yeah, I just wanted this in my collection. I thought it was a beautiful palette, so got that. I believe I showed my other colorful September Rose palette in my first video. This is the Sosu uh, and Khalid, I believe it's pronounced, Urban Bible eyeshadow palette. Wanted this forever too. Kind of gets pricey, you know, when we purchase palettes from like overseas and stuff and they add all the shipping and stuff. So that kind of gets me to back out of purchases a lot. I don't remember if I bought this off of, you know, a makeup seller or directly, you know, but I'm really glad I got this palette. I love the color story. It also has like a grungy feel to it, but it's just really, really nice. I did use this in a video too, if you are curious. This here is the Munaza. 
You guys know Blush Tribe doesn't exist anymore, but I really like the artistry on here. The palette itself is not necessarily my favorite. Um, when I used it, I used it like twice trying to figure out if I was doing something wrong or whatever, but it's just not a favorite of mine. So there's probably nothing wrong with it, but I don't think I'll ever use it again, but I do like having it in my collection. This one here, Into the Night from Beauty Dame. I showed their colorful palette in my first video if you want to check that out. But this one, yeah, is more kind of like deep and smoky. Has like your blues, your black, has a purple in there. Yeah, I see this definitely is more of a smoky type color story. Very pretty. This one here is from Ditto. Had never heard of them. This is the Hera palette. Saw uh, Betty Jean, Butte Bean using it here on YouTube. Fell in love with it and decided to grab it. Um, I was supposed to use this in my last shot, my stash, y'all, but <laughs> I've been chilling for real. <laughs> so I really do need to use this though, but it's pretty. It's very different and unique to me. I like it. Love the artwork as well. This is another Quest to Cosmetics palette that I have. It's called I Am Bold. I haven't used this yet. I did show their other palette in my first video. This one is gorgeous though. You see those colors in there? That top row, that bottom row. Oh shoot, the whole palette is pretty. I like it. Questa Cosmetics. I'm really trying to, like I said before, get into a lot of indie brands and stuff. I have a lot of mainstream palettes as well you know, higher end prestige and stuff like that. But it just doesn't give me the same feel as the indie brand. You know what I mean? It just doesn't. So this is from Midas Cosmetics. It's the flower bomb. I love the color story in this palette. <laughs> what I don't like is all the freaking glitter. Hello. <laughs> but the color story is so pretty. If those glitters were shimmers, man, I'd have been used this palette. I've noticed it about myself that glitter kind of turns me off from using the palette quite honestly I say I don't mind it because I actually like glitter but I really don't want to see all this glitter in my palettes but yeah this is pretty next I have here the urban myth this one is from black moon cosmetics this is my first purchase from them they have some other palettes that are really nice to me that I want to check out but honey they are not cheap they are not cheap okay <laughs> so I be trying to dupe them palettes, honey, because they be expensive. Nice palette. Um, it didn't knock my socks off. It did not give me the feels that I thought it would when I used it. It just kind of turned out to be a regular palette. I was really excited, you know, about using like these shimmers and stuff. And it just it was a little lackluster for me. But yeah, it's nice. I did do a video on this as well. I have these palettes here from Beauty Bakery, one that I bought recently, one that I got in my BoxyCharm. I have several palettes that I got from BoxyCharm that I think I'm just going to show all together. But this one here from Beauty Bakery is their newest palette. It's called Sugar Cookies. Man, I went back and forth with whether or not I was going to buy this palette. And I was just like, girl, why do you keep torturing yourself? Just buy the dang on palette, Okay. I don't know why I'd just be going back and forth. Like, if I want it and I got the money and I can afford it, I'm going to buy it, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to torture myself. So, I thought this was pretty. Very, very pretty. I like the layout, the colors, everything. So, yeah, sugar cookies. This one here, breakfast in bed. I definitely wouldn't have purchased this um, had I not got it in my boxy charm. It's just a little bit too cool tone neutral I think for me it really kind of reminds me of the stone cold fox though so I actually would probably use this and love it to be honest with you because it is pretty but it's something that I definitely would not have purchased even though I did purchase the stone cold fox <laughs> that's me contradictory KK okay so <laughs> this is my Tati Beauty volume one okay yeah I love this palette this palette is so pretty. Look at it. It's gorgeous, okay? I don't... Whatever kind of drama she doing, I need her to come out with another palette, okay? <laughs> so, I wonder if she will. Do you guys think she will with all the nonsense that she doing? 
so or she dealing with you know but yeah it's pretty <sighs> okay now look don't judge me i don't want to hear nothing in the comments i don't want to hear nothing just just don't okay <laughs> i decided i wanted more uh, lunar beauty palettes now i already have a few but if you are familiar with my channel you know that there's one that i did a whole video duping out because i was trying not to buy it i broke down and bought it but anyway <laughs> this life's a drag from lunar beauty okay this was actually a prize that i won really really early in my youtube career uh sarah smiles she had a giveaway and I won and so yeah I got this palette in a giveaway this is well let me show you the palette that <laughs> I already had the strawberry dream I already had this one gorgeous okay people keep telling me to use this use it use it KK use it and it's gorgeous so yeah I need to use that too but it's really pretty you guys have to understand I collect palettes you know, I don't just buy palettes for YouTube or just buy palettes, you know, for videos. I actually collect palettes. So I buy palettes really for myself. So, you know, you might see me purchase palettes and then never see them on my channel. It's because I just, I love makeup, you know. So if you really, really are dying to see something, you have to ask me a few times. <laughs> and then, you know, I'll remember to use it. But yeah, anyway. So this is the Moon Spell palette. This one I didn't pick up because you know I ain't into all of this like whatever this is. What is this? Is this Zodiac spiritual stuff? I don't want nobody coming to my door, okay? So anyway, you know, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and that's it. <laughs> so stuff like this I kind of like steer clear from, but I went ahead picked it up because it's gorgeous okay it's pretty i've seen a lot of people just love this palette i haven't heard anything bad about it so yeah i want it in my collection so i just have to plead the blood of jesus over this thing because i'm not into all of that okay this one here this is the one i don't want to hear nothing about okay look i tried to fight it i tried to fight it but i don't know i think it could have been my girl constantly talking about how much she wanted this palette you know i was trying to stop thinking about it and my girl dj was just like but it's so pretty <laughs> so yeah here it is in my collection after i've already duped it out well you know anyway it is pretty though honey it is gorgeous and i'll feel no shame about it no shame Okay, you guys, so if I stop talking so much, I might be able to get through all these palettes. Okay, this one is from Delancey. This is the Flamboyance. I did a video on this as well. This one, gorgeous red tone palette. Very, very pretty. This one is also from Delancey. It's called the Maelstrom palette. Oh, so pretty. I don't know if you can see that with all the glare, but you see those purples and stuff? This palette so bomb i did a video on this as well the lancy makes some decent palettes um that are really affordable so yeah really really gorgeous these are my c color palettes i picked up these latest ones um i showed the colorful one in my first video this one is called the diamond and honestly i feel like you know because they do a lot of dupe palettes i feel like this was supposed to dupe the fenty um you know, their first glittery palette that they came out with. I can't think of the name of it. But when I swatched it out with that palette, it matched up. But these shimmers are so much better <laughs> than the Fenty ones. Oh my goodness. These are gorgeous and they're more opaque. They're not just so much like toppers. You know, these are really nice opaque shimmers. So this palette, in my opinion, is better than the Fenty one. Now this one here, the Dust to Dawn, this is an obvious dupe for the Jackie Ina palette. And it definitely is. I mean, shade for shade dupe. It's gorgeous. Really, really nice. I have seen people swatch this and actually compare it to the Jackie Ina. And it was pretty close. Okay, so yeah, if you are looking for something like that and can't find it or... You know, just don't want to buy the Jackie Ina and ABH collab. Check this one out from C Color Cosmetics because it's nice. 
Now, all of these palettes that I have from C Color is funny because I bought these palettes. I think these are all. These are some dupes from uh, the Jeffree Star palettes. And I think there's a couple of dupes in here from the Dominique Cosmetics, like Lemonade palettes and stuff. I grabbed these. I had them, depotted them, and then was mad that I depotted them. So I bought them again. I know, it's crazy. This is a unisex five. So this is what this one looks like. And I believe this is a dupe for one of the Dominique Cosmetics palettes. One of the lemonades or something. I don't know. I don't have those. This one is the Unisex 4. So this is what this one looks like. I don't know what this is duping. But it's duping something. This one is the Unisex 3. And I know this is, you know, one of the Jeffree Star palettes here or is Nikki Raven would say one of the Jafar starfish <laughs> palettes <laughs> I love how she completely just destroys his name like she does not care Jafar starfish or star sprinkle okay this is the unisex two and this is what this one looks like Let's see if I can get a better shot gorgeous and these shimmers are bomb you guys um like i said i had depotted them to keep them all but i prefer them in the palette so yeah very very nice the mattes are very pigmented as well this one is the unisex one and this is what this looks like this is also from c color um definitely a dupe for his what is it called? The blue, whatever. I don't know. But, you know, his blue palette, this is a shade for shade dupe for that. Okay, so these palettes here. I actually have a couple of palettes from Dominique Cosmetics. I showed one in my first video. Um, this one is the Rustic Glam. Very new to my collection. So new that I saw somebody... <laughs> I don't know. I was watching one of those videos. Yeah, where they were guessing the swatches. I think, you know, you look at the swatches and you guess the palette. I could not pick this palette to save my life. And so it was just so funny because it was like, girl, you got that palette. So that means you're doing way too much. Yeah, because I could not pick this palette out to save my life. <laughs> but yeah, Rustic Glam. This one is the Berries and Cream very nice i think there are different palettes for different types of people you know everything is not made for everybody so i understand that so i have here a couple more colored rain palettes i don't know why i didn't have these all together but this one is the queen of hearts beautiful beautiful palette absolutely gorgeous you know not really my um you know type of color story that gets me all excited but i do recognize a beautiful color story when i see one and this is gorgeous this is the cheers to the beauty this one does get me excited <laughs> i'm pretty sure you can see why i love the gold green and blue definitely makes me think of like the holidays really really pretty sparkly gorgeous uh formula Okay, let's get into some palettes that are very, very familiar. Um, let's talk about my Morphe palettes. So the Jaclyn Hill collection, this was her vault. This one is armed and gorgeous. And it is gorgeous. It's pretty. As you can see, I haven't even used this yet. But it's really, really pretty. This one here is the Ring the Alarm. And this is what she looks like. This one is the Bling Boss. Bling, bling. <laughs> very, very pretty. Very pretty. Next, I have here another one of the Artistry palettes. This one is the 18A Blue You Away Bars. And this is what it looks like. Has like the blue tone to it. The other one that I showed... In the previous video had the green tone to it and this one is the blue this is my 24a artist artist pass I think this was a collab with Saweetie or something 
Yeah, I only used it once. This palette is kind of... Huh, it's pretty, but it's kind of aggressive. It's just way too much glitter. Like, sheesh, give me a break. It's way too much glitter in here. It's gorgeous, but it's very aggressive. <laughs> and I don't really like these, like, putty-type shadows up here. You know, sometimes um, Revolution does those type of shadows, too. They just don't do it as well as ColourPop, and so it's just kind of annoying. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty. I mean, I created a, a nice look with it, if you're curious. This is my Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the original one. Um, this is actually a brand new one. Um, I purchased the first one and depotted it. And I don't know. I just wanted another one. I wanted it in the palette. I didn't like the fact that I depotted it. So I bought another one. And from what I understand, this formula is different. So <clears throat> I don't know. I might not even like this palette anymore. But... I'm going to try it out and see, you know, and compare it to the shadows that I depotted. But yeah, so this one is brand new. I need some water. My throat is getting scratchy, you guys. Sorry about that. Um, this is the 3502. Okay. And that is what she looks like. Very red, very brown. I actually might give this one to my daughter because... Since I have the other one, you know, it's basically red with a pop of green in it. I'm trying to hold this up. Since I have the other one, um, I really don't need both of these. I mean, it's just a gang of brown. It's like only four shades I'll probably use out of here. So, yeah, I might give this to my daughter. This here is the 35P. And this is what the 35P looks like. So, very, very cool tone. You know purple themed palette but it's very very cool tone this one is the 35h hot spot <laughs> i bought this one when i was out of town with my husband so it's kind of like when he was working on the road so it kind of like has a little special place in my heart it's funny the video i did with this i wanted to combine the reds and the blues so of course i came up with a purple eye look hilarious okay but <laughs> yeah, I definitely love this blue section. The red section is okay. I'm not really into reds, but this blue section is pretty. Who else does a purple eye look with a red and blue palette? Okay, so this here is the 35V Stunning Vibes. Another one of my favorites. I don't know if I bought this when I was on the road with hubby, but I definitely used it in a video because I remember filming that video in the hotel. So <laughs> if you see a video from me using this, yeah, I was filming it in a hotel on the road. But yeah, once again, those blues and purples, oh, so gorgeous. Next, I have here the 39L Hit the Lights from Morphe. <laughs> I, I didn't have no business buying this palette. I just wanted it because it had some pretty colors in it. It was that collab palette with the four different um, sections. You see the four different sections and it has the influencer that they collabed with for each section. So, I mean, it's cute. You know, it's real cute. But, yeah, I didn't need this palette. It's pretty, but very, very unnecessary in my collection. Like... I would only use this section down here, maybe these pinks over here, <laughs> but that's about it. So, I mean, it's pretty though. It is. As you can see, I haven't even touched it. Haven't even touched it. Okay, next I have my 39A Dare to Create, and both of these next two palettes, I'm actually deciding on whether or not I wanted to pop them. This was one of my favorite palettes back in the day because it had, you know, a little variety of color. That was before I knew that I really, really loved like rainbow color. <laughs> so I'm actually thinking of depotting this because I don't really use this anymore. But there are a few shades in here that I do want to keep. And then lastly, in my Morphe stack is this gorgeous purple one. This is what the 39 S. The 39S, yeah. It's so pretty. It's so hard for me to depot this. I thought about doing it, but man, she's gorgeous. I love seeing all these shades together. I'm still thinking about it. I'm still on the fence. I don't know if I'm going to depot it or not, but yeah, she's pretty. 
Okay, you guys, there's no question. I'm going to have to split this into three videos. <laughs> trying to do too oh my gosh but i feel like i talk too much so i'm gonna run through these right quick okay um okay some more indie brands peachy queen this is the ganja queen palette and this is what the ganja queen looks like this is the amethyst palette now this one ooh, really really pretty got some glitters in there though but she's really pretty. This one is the We're All Mad Here. This is what this one looks like. Very interesting color story. Very strange. This is the Tarot palette, the Sun. Another palette that I didn't really want to buy because I don't like the theme. But color story drew me in. Very pretty. And this is the Kush Queen, the first palette, I believe, that I bought from them. I did do a look using this palette. Very bold, very beautiful. I love this palette. Next, let's run through some Ace Beauté. This is the Vintage Dawn. Ooh, 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 this is one of my favorites. Aside from the Oceanic, this is one of my favorite palettes from Ace Beauté. I love this color story. This one is the Scarlet Dusk. I believe this, yeah, this is brand new. I just got this from uh, the Boxy Pop-Up. I thought it was a gorgeous red tone palette. Really, really pretty. This one is the Grandiose. So this is another red tone palette. <laughs> this palette has gotten such mixed reviews. Some people absolutely hate it and other people absolutely love it. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try it for myself. This is the Nostalgia. Listen, do you see this? Yes, honey, yes. She's pretty. This is the Quintessential. That's what this was my very first Ace Beauty palette. Okay, I bought it long before it was in the Boxy Charm box, and love, love, love it. Really, really nice. Of course, you know I love that blue, but it's pretty. Okay, let me run through these four palettes that I got from. Now my dog wants to make my video even longer. Hold on, y'all. Okay. So yeah, these are some like monochromatic palettes that I got from Amazon a long time ago. I think I did videos for all of these palettes except the blue. This one here, the avocado green. This is what it looks like. Gorgeous. These palettes are really, really good. They used to be like 10 bucks, I think, but they probably raised the price from people raving about them. This one, Affiano, is the blue one. And these palettes, I feel like, are really private label because I've seen several different, you know, people or brands slap their name on these exact same palettes <laughs> and charge, you know, way more. So, yeah, I think these are private label, but the quality, very, very nice. This one, the purple, a little beat up, okay, but... Yeah, very pretty. And the orange. And like I said, I have videos, I believe, for all of these except for the blue. I have some palettes here from Beauty Creation. They came out with a whole pro set. Came in a big box and everything. Really nice. I haven't even used these things, y'all. This one is volume one. That's what she looks like. Beautiful warm tone palette. And I'm hoping that actually these palettes are nicer than their like regular palettes since they're pro palettes. But look at this one. This is volume two. Nice. Volume three. Of course, the neutral with the blue. And volume four. Gorge. Look at that. Honey child, that's pretty. Okay, let's run through some more indies. This one is from Ruby May. Got this during the holidays, during one of my 
last hauls oh lord have mercy this palette is gorgeous i use this actually and i like it I like it a lot this one is the spiced latte this one is gorgeous as well very pretty uh, let's do all the ruby may i think i have one more okay this one is vibes this one was a gift from my girl DJ. Okay, she got me this for my birthday. And why haven't I used it yet? Because look at those shimmers. Pretty. Mm, mm, mm. This one is from a brand called Oba, I believe. Oba. And this is I Am. And this was also a gift from my girl DJ. Look at that. Yes. Very, very pretty. Okay, so let's run through some more of my Cara Beauty palettes. <laughs> Their packaging is, look at that. Look at her glasses, you guys. Okay, she is just too cool for school. Look at that. You see her glasses? Too cool for school, honey. This is called Beach Days. <laughs> and this is what Beach Days looks like. And I do like the Cara Beauty formula, just in case you're curious. This is Orange Pop. Beautiful, beautiful. This is Before the Party. Very pretty. Oh, oh my goodness. My heart just skipped a beat, honey. <laughs> I forgot how pretty this palette is. Lord have mercy. I just literally lost my breath when I opened this. Uh, uh, uh. This should have been in my blue green themed palette. I totally forgot about this. Oh, she pretty. This is Life of the Fiesta. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Mm. And look at this. This should have been in my green and purple. Ain't no blue in here, though, but. <laughs> <laughs> this could have been in one of my color theme sections as well. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, she pretty. And then the last one I have is Flower After Hours. Okay. She's sassy. I can tell from her haircut. She real sassy. Okay. So this is pretty. Very pretty. This is kind of like for, you know, someone who wants to just kind of dibble their toes and color a little bit. <laughs> wants to play it safe <laughs> okay i had to rearrange some stuff because it's just getting out of hand okay this is poppy cosmetics neon drip look at this look at these colors you guys i cannot wait until spring just so i can use this palette this is one palette that i'm gonna wait to use oh she's pretty i have purchased uh several kaleidos palettes this one is the Escape Pod. I didn't get any PR. I bought all my Kaleidos palettes. So this is what the Escape Pod looks like. Super, super pretty. Gorgeous. But what I did was I actually depotted my palettes because I wanted all my shadows in one place. So I depotted all of my smaller, you know, futurism Kaleidos palettes and put them in here. So you'll see, you know, one, two, three, four, whatever the number that they are, just kind of lined out in this <laughs> palette here. Because so, I don't know, for some reason, I just wanted everything in one place. So I didn't have to open all those small palettes. And I can use whatever shadow I want from any of the palettes right here. So that is my Kaleidos uh, magnetic palette. Okay, what should I do next? BH Cosmetics. Okay, BH Cosmetics. <laughs> this one here, Fairy Lights. That's what she looks like. Gorge. This one here, Desert Oasis. I just cannot bring myself to get rid of this. <laughs> it's just so pretty. You know, the highlighters. I mean, I don't know where to put this, whether I should put it with my eyeshadow or my face products, but... I just can't get rid of it. It's so pretty. This is one of my newer palettes from BH, the Naughty, their holiday palette. And that's what she looks like. And then I do have the ice cream uh, sweet shop collection, I should say. But I did not buy the brown one, you know, the 
the warm tone one because the what i almost bought it just to have my collection complete but i was like no nah, i don't need to do that because i'm not going to use it so this is the pistachio i did do a whole swatch video on these so i'll just show them right quick bubble gum oh lord have mercy lord have mercy on my soul that's so pretty orange sorbet very, very pretty. Lechetti on top. <laughs> Gorge. And lastly, cotton candy. Okay, cotton candy, sweet and gold. Let me see that Tootsie Roll. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. I also have the It's My Ray Ray. This was her second collab palette with BH Cosmetics. This 1991 palette, my girl Lily sent this to me. So sweet because I don't know. Don't want to age myself. Lord have mercy. That's the year I graduated from high school, just in case you're wondering how old I am. <laughs> but yeah, she bought this for me. And I think it's so pretty and I don't even want to use it. You know, it's one of those gifts. It's kind of like a memento, you know, it's the year I, I graduated. So very cool. This is the Labby Dunn Prince bought this on sale like i have done so many other palettes but i heard this is a really really good palette really nice formula so i'll try this out in the spring this one is the midnight festival oh it's pretty it really is i don't like this one more than the other you know the previous like carnival palette that they came out with and got rid of and I gave mine away. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I have this one. It's pretty, but I don't need all those glitters, you know. But since it's a festival palette, I guess it makes sense. Look at that. It's cool. Okay, let me run through all my travel palettes. This is Beautiful in Barcelona. And it is definitely beautiful. I think this was my first or second travel palette that I bought. But it's gorgeous. I love it. This is smitten in Switzerland. Look at that. Love it. Blueberry muffin. Ooh. That reflective packaging is just, it's too much. But it's pretty. The mimosa. Beautiful coral pinky tone palette. Summer in Saint Tropez. I really, really like this one. So pretty. Haven't used it yet, but it's gorgeous. And if the formula for all these palettes is the same, then I have no worries. This one, Love in London. Ooh, classy. That just looks classy to me. <laughs> if you guys hear the fan, I'm sorry about that, but your girl is hot. This is the Carly Bible. <laughs> Why do I still have this, you guys? Why do I still have this? I mean, yeah. I really need to just give this away. That's pretty, though. Real pretty. She's still bland, though. Next, I have my Zodiac palette. This one is the Love Signs. And that's what that one looks like almost gave these away but so many people in my comments was like no you gotta use it you gotta use it so i kept it i'm gonna check it out and then i also have the original zodiac palette and i believe i used this one once so this one is really pretty as well i think they would go good together you know as a combination situation I know you guys are like, what is going on? Every time I come back, she has a different stack of palettes. <laughs> they just keep going and going, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to run through uh, palettes that I got from Beauty Bay. Some of these, I think, are sample beauty, but yeah, I got them all from Beauty Bay. So this is a pastels palette. It's funny, I bought this. I was like, ooh, it's affordable. It was, I don't know, it was only like 10 bucks or something. And it got some really bad reviews. <laughs> so I don't know what to expect.
like when I used this, but yeah, it didn't get the best reviews, but we'll see. Next, I have here this like baby fiery palette. I also have the large one. Don't ask me why I bought both, but <laughs> this is the little one. So it's kind of like a little travel palette, you know, fiery, nice, warm palette. This is from Sample Beauty. It's the Cult palette. Also new to my collection. Very pretty. Not sure what to expect though, so we'll see. But very pretty. Next, I have here this OPV Spotlight. I actually did not get this from Beauty Bay. What is this doing in here? I got this from the Boxy Pop Up. And yo, look at this palette. This palette gets really good reviews too, so I'm really excited about this. This is gorgeous spotlight. This is the Beauty Bay Sunset Horizons. I'm pretty sure this is going to be nice because if it's the same formula as the Book of Magic, honey chow, this is going to be really, really nice. Very pretty. I also have the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay uh, collab palette. I got this palette and I was, I don't know, I don't even know if I was ever really excited about it. Um, let me turn it this way. It's really kind of awkward. But, yeah, I don't know if I was ever even really that excited about it. I did want to support Nikki. Um, and the shimmers actually look amazing. But, I don't know, I just never find myself drawn to use it. But, it is really pretty. This is a Sample Beauty Equalizer Palette Volume 2. Very new to my collection. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was not going to get this palette until I saw Tammy use it, Tammy Clark. And I was like, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cop that because <laughs> she made me feel like I had to have it. So, yeah, this palette it is really, really pretty. It looks even more beautiful in person than, you know, than it does here on camera. It's gorgeous, you guys. This is that huge uh, fiery palette. I showed you guys a small one earlier. This is the large one, completely unnecessary, but I wanted it, so here it is. <laughs> and it performed very nicely. I actually used this one, you guys. I know you're shocked, but I used it. I believe I used it in a video, doing like an orange and red look. Very, very nice. This is another large Beauty Bay palette, the nude. I think I bought these palettes kind of trying to... Um, complete holes in my palette collection because I don't really gravitate towards nudes, cool tones, warm tones, none of that. But I felt like I needed to add a little more variety in my collection. So I got these and I'm not disappointed because they're very affordable and the formula is decent. Okay. And this one here is the Origin palette from Beauty Bay. You guys are probably like, fill a hole in your collection. KK, ain't no hole that big in the world, okay? <laughs> to fit these palettes. This palette is pretty, though. You see how it kind of has like that burgundy, pinky kind of shift in it? Yeah, this one is really pretty, you guys. Really, really pretty. <laughs> okay, I'm praying that this video is not two hours long. Okay, face candy. If you guys were familiar with um, Shop Hush, they had face candy on their site. I bought this Atlantis palette and I'm probably never going to let this go because this was one of my first favorite blue teal type palettes. Pretty Poison. This was from Bad Habit, also sold on Shop Hush. Gorgeous purple palette. I actually have palettes pinky purple palettes now that I like better than this so this one actually might get decluttered this is the goddess palette from alter ego <laughs> a lot of people think that alter ego is just uh shop hush rebranded but I don't know but this is the goddess palette and it is a dupe for the Natasha Denona what is it gold palette gorgeous it actually looks just like it <laughs> so and I hear rave reviews on this I swatched it and was not that impressed have not used it yet though it might perform nicely on my eyes but y'all know bad swatches kind of make me rethink 
my whole life. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll try it eventually. A few more affordable palettes before I run through palettes that I got from BoxyCharm. This is from Amore Us. I mentioned this brand in my first video. I have one of their colorful palettes in there. This is the Snow Queen. Mm-hmm. Yep, you see it. You see it. I don't even have to say nothing. You see it. Gorgeous. This here is the Femme Fatale. Femme Fatale. Really gorgeous. Kind of purple toned, cool toned palette here. Really pretty. The Havana Blast. Definitely more beautiful, colorful, tropical. I want to be in Hawaii right now type palette. <laughs> really pretty. This is um, a palette, kind of like a whole combination palette, face palette thing that I got from Amazon. From what brand is this? You Can Be. It's a hot mess right now, but <laughs> yeah. I, listen, don't even ask, okay? This is like borderline kind of like that um what is it physician's formula brick that i have but it's very pretty you guys i can't get all the colors in frame but it's very pretty i think i used it once and it actually worked out nicely so yeah this is something i got off of amazon from you can be it's called the pretty all set this is from beauty glazed um, I don't really buy too many more beauty glazed uh, palettes anymore. Uh, there's so much kind of like controversy with asbestos and all that kind of stuff being in certain palettes from China. So I kind of steer clear, but this palette is actually really nice. This is like a dupe for the ColourPop and is it Kathleen Lights palette? I don't know. But yeah, it's like a dupe for that palette. Very, very nice, very pretty. So, yeah, it's cute. This is a Beauty Creations palette. Anna, I had several Beauty Creations palettes, but I decluttered them because the quality is just okay. And I have so many really nice palettes that I don't really need anything that's just okay in my collection. So I'm just kind of slowly weeding them out. So I did declutter those and, uh, you know, pass them along. This is the Anna palette. And I kept this one because I really, really love this color story. And I do like to have kind of like a reference palette, you know, to kind of compare things to. So really, really pretty. This is a Delancey palette called Little Prince and Rose. And this is what she looks like. Really, really pretty. And this is another palette that I got from an indie brand called Glam Doll Cosmetics. It's called the Vibes Palette. And I don't know, I kind of felt some type of way because after I bought this, I saw this exact same palette um, being sold by someone else. Just, you know, with a different <laughs> name and a different cover on it. It's a gorgeous palette. The quality is just okay. I did use it twice. Um, yeah, and it's just okay. Very, very pretty palette though, but yeah, I didn't really like the fact that it was just kind of like being sold by several different brands, the exact same palette for different prices, mind you. Okay, so I have all of these palettes here that I got from BoxyCharm. I like to kind of keep these just together, even though they're all different brands, because of the fact that if I ever want to do like a boxy try on video, which I haven't done in quite a while, but if I ever want to do one, I want to be able to just pull the palette from my boxy charm section. So that's why I have all of these palettes together. This was the actual boxy charm palette. <laughs> a lot of people were upset because they're like, man, I don't want no boxy charm brand palette in my boxy charm, which is hilarious to me, but yeah it actually is a really nice palette <laughs> it really is i really enjoyed using it the shimmers worked out nice i wish there was a deeper darker matte in here but i mean the eye look that i came up with it worked for me and i didn't have no complaints so yeah i feel like if it was a crappy palette then yeah you know 
you can complain but from my experience it worked out so i also got this storybook cosmetics fairy tales in my boxy charm i believe these kind of caused an uproar as well because they were saying that they were not like the original ones quality wasn't the same they were made somewhere else i mean <laughs> it's just a lot going on with boxy charm okay but it's a really pretty palette it really is in my opinion i think it's gorgeous this here is the hidden treasure palette from dosa colors i almost gave this away and you guys know why i don't like all them crazy shapes all over the place but I almost gave this away, but I decided not to because I actually really looked closely at the shades in here and I like them. I do. It's very neutral, very basic. I mean, I might still end up giving it away because Lord knows I don't need these shades, but I really do like the colors in here. But yeah, so that's from Dose of Colors. This is the Queen palette from Eloise. Very nice artwork. I like how they have the three different shades of woman on here. I love that. It says, a queen lies in all of us. And this is what this palette looks like. You know, very beautiful pinky purple palette. If you can see that. Next, I have here this Festival 2.0 from Pure. <laughs> Pure is another brand where people either, either love it or hate it. I, I don't have an issue with it. I think it's a pretty palette. This is a Ciate London palette. What is this? The Editor palette. I feel like I've gotten some really nice palettes this year from BoxyCharm. This one here is gorgeous. When I first saw it, I was like, mm. but you know what? It's actually really pretty. Really, really nice. And it's nice to have a Ciate London palette. This is another palette from Hip Dot. I got that green blue palette in my last Boxy Lux, and I got this Zion in my other Boxy Charm. So I like the um, green and or blue and green one a lot better than this one, but this one is pretty too. I got this palette called Illuminati times Issa, designed by Isabel Bedoya. So I guess the brand is Illuminati? Honey, I don't know. Yeah, Illuminati Cosmetics. And this palette really doesn't do much for me. I mean, the packaging is cute. I don't know. It just has a cheap feel to it. You know how you just hold a palette, look at a palette, and it just looks cheap to you? That's how this one feels to me. Like, it just looks cheap. So, I don't know. This is probably going to be a giveaway as well. And I hate to always say that I want to give away stuff that I don't want. But, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure, okay? This is the Zueva Opulence Palette. And, honestly, I don't think I got this in my boxy. Not sure. I think I actually bought this one. But I do have another Zoeva palette that came in my boxy. I just have to find it. I actually think it's this one. This is the Zoeva Glam. I'm pretty sure this is it because I know I didn't buy this. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the Zoeva Glam. And then lastly, I have this Picante palette from Carity. Carity is not one of my favorite brands as far as formula goes. I have decluttered, depotted, you know, a couple of palettes that I purchased from them. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. This is probably going to be a giveaway as well. Pretty color story, though. Okay, you guys, it's official. I'm definitely going to end up with three <laughs> videos because I just pulled out, like, my drugstore slash more affordable palettes to go through and even if I can get through all of these this video might be two hours long and then I still have the rest of my Juvia's Place, Colourpop, all of my high-end prestige so yeah it's gonna be a third video <laughs> so let's run through these drugstore palettes and then I think I'm gonna in there i don't know if i'll be able to squeeze revolution in or not okay so these are from nyx this is the nyx ultimate edit they have uh quite a few of these this one is the brights so they're like smaller palettes um you know edits of their larger palettes 
So this one is the Brights Edit. This one is the Ultimate Edit. I don't think I really need to open these because you can see it through the top, but that's just a neutral one. And this one is the Ash Edit. Did I say Ultimate? <laughs> this one is the Warm Neutrals, duh. And then this one is the Ash ash edit it has like gray blue and burgundy gorgeous these are also from nyx i refuse to give these away <laughs> or get rid of them because when i use these man i was really really surprised at how beautiful and mauvey the eye look that i did with these so yeah i refuse to get rid of these the lingerie and the cosmic metals because they created a beautiful eye look now I also have these off tropic palettes. I bought these maybe in mm, 2019. Very, very pretty tropical feeling palettes. This one is more colorful. What are the names on these? This one is Asta La Vista. So a little bit more bright, a little bit more colorful. And the first one is called Shifting Sand. So that one was a little bit less colorful now continuing on with nyx i have my swear by it palette you guys have seen this i'm sure a million times but this is what this one looks like really pretty kind of like a muted down rainbow this one is the modern dreamer a little bit more colorful if you ask me very pretty along the blue purple pink theme but there's a lot of green in here too hmm maybe that's why i was attracted to it but it's really pretty so that's the modern dreamer <laughs> this is my pixie palette <laughs> that i bought so this is what this one looks like really pretty there's some pretty colors in here i just i don't know i have to use it though because this is the only pixie shadows that i have Okay, let's run through these Makeup Obsession palettes. I showed these in my video when I was asking, you know, should I tear these up? <laughs> Meaning, should I depop them? These are those same palettes. This one here, Life's a Party. Very, very pretty. I used this and actually the look turned out gorgeous. This one is All We Have Is Now. So, very beautiful, warm tone, pop of blue color story. And this one is the Belle Jordan collab with Makeup Obsession. Very, very pretty. I haven't used this one yet. I might have swatched a few, but very pretty. Let's run through these gorgeous LA Girl palettes. Man, LA Girl just has been doing a dang thing the last couple of years. Um, this is the Break Free. Look at that. It's so cute. Watch the butterflies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but this is just, you know, beautiful warm tone palette. Gorgeous. This is oh, I said the break free. Sorry, you guys. I hate when they name these things the same and put a different name in micro print on the back. This one is called BU. <laughs> so this is the BU. This one is called This Is Me. So gorgeous purple shades as you can see i haven't used it it still has the shiny paper on there that i don't want to take off right now but look at those oh my goodness gorgeous this one is the la girl hot hot heat and this is what this one looks like and I hate that they um, kind of like discontinue these. After they bring them out, people use them and fall in love with them. And then after a while, they just disappear. So I don't even know if these are still available. I did it again, you guys. This one is Aloha Vibes. <laughs> hot, hot heat. Vacay every day. So this is what vacay every day looks like. This is the Pro Mastery eyeshadow palette. They actually sent me these in PR. So this one is just called Mastery. I was shocked when they contacted me and asked me if they could send me some stuff. I was like, of course you can. Hello. You know, 
<laughs> so this is what that one looks like these palettes oh my gosh they're so gorgeous they perform amazing too love them and this one here is called artistry so this one of course you know you get your bolder colors in there you're able to do something with the blue and the green but yeah very very pretty I'm sorry i'm trying to get that glare out of there you guys but i can't very pretty and my most recent purchase from la girl are these smaller palettes that they came out with i'm not going to open them up because i'm sure you've seen them but they are smaller palettes just kind of like neutral ones this one is kind of like you know pinky tone peachy tone neutral smoky neutral and then this one is the golden kind of tone warm cool and pink this one is called playmate <laughs> so the one that has the pinky tone it's playmate this one is called down play smoky and this one is called foreplay hello <laughs> so foreplay is really pretty also from la girl this is a palette that might be on the chopping block for me it's called surreal dream pick this up on sale at ulta and i don't know I just something about this made me want to try it maybe it's that kind of like teal tone rustic blue and green in there i feel like i can get a really nice smoky eye look from this so i don't know i might try it <laughs> instead of giving it away i might try this out now some of these should have been with my indie stuff because you know like this one indica because um in my status quo palettes from e unique but because of the size and shape with them they're mixed in with my <laughs> my drugstore stuff so or affordable stuff but let's go ahead and run through these nika k palettes my girl lily turned me on to these and they're so so cute so these are all from nika k this is the lucky charm this one is the Ocean Eyes, gorgeous blue. This one is the Sugar Plum, like pink and purple. This one is the Poison Apple, very, very pretty. This one is the Mocha Mix. Look at those shimmers on the top, you guys. Ooh, those are pretty. These are from uh, Lottie London, but you know, they're like the same size, so I have them all together. Got these from Ulta, still haven't used them yet. This is the Miami. They actually look <laughs> pretty much the same to me, to be honest with you. So this is the Miami, and this one is the Ibiza. So, you know, kind of like a play on the Huda Beauty um, neon palettes, but I feel like these might be better. And then I have these larger palettes from Nika K as well. This is called the Lime Mojito. Look at those colors. Yeah, I haven't tried these out, but my girl Lily says that they're pretty good, so. And this one here is the Blue Hawaii. And I'm telling you, these palettes only cost like a couple of bucks. They're so inexpensive. But yeah, I know Nika K is found in a lot of beauty supplies, but I just ordered mine online from the Nika K website. Okay, Elf, let's see what we got here. So of course you guys know I got these bite-sized palettes from Elf. So, I don't know if you guys need the name on all of them. This one is Berry Bad. This one here, very pretty. This is Carnival Candy with the blue. This one, Cool Tone Neutral, is Cream and Sugar. This one, which is kind of like that blueberry type color story. I Say You. Acai. <laughs> Acai you. This one here. Don't ask me why I needed all of them. This is a warm tone. I mean, they were three bucks and the quality is bomb. Pumpkin pie. Gorgeous. This one here I actually used in my video. So I toe up. <laughs> it's truffles. Man, gorgeous smoky eye with this. And then lastly, I have the green one, which is hot jalapeno. Is it hot? Hot jalapeno. Yes, so pretty. 
Also for e.l.f., I have this Prism palette. This was like OG <laughs> from when I first started my channel. I got this. And now, just looking at it, I definitely need to declutter this because with the beautiful shimmers that I have from Indie Brands and some of my other palettes, I will never reach for this. This one here is the Mad for Matte Jewel Pop. Now, this one here, I actually had... <laughs> in my declutter box but I took it back out because my girl Lily was like you gotta try it KK it's really nice so I took it out I don't know I still haven't used it so it's probably going back in <laughs> but quality on this is really good and this last one here is mad for matte holy smokes got glitter all over it <laughs> but this is what holy smokes looks like and it's just your smoky color story from elf and i believe when i bought these these were like ten dollars each um yeah so they're probably still available somewhere but i'm not sure and lastly for elf i have these two larger palettes this one is the 18 hit wonders from elf i don't think i need to open it you can really see it through the plastic very very pretty and then i also have the retro paradise this one the cover is a little bit busy so this is what she looks like and I did use this in a video very interesting palette <laughs> very different I will say that the colors in here but yeah I liked it it was fun not the best quality but it was fun okay you guys I think that is gonna do it for this video I just I can't <laughs> I'm tired I'm hungry and I feel overwhelmed right now. So I just cannot do any more right now. So that will be the end of part two for my collection video. I tried to get all of my affordable and drugstore, but I couldn't. So the next video, part three, is going to start off here with some more of my affordable stuff, revolution stuff, profusion stuff. Then I'm going to move into my Juvia's ColourPop and High End, and that's it. I don't care how long part three is, that's going to be it. So that's it for part two. Hopefully you enjoyed it. <laughs> Let me know because this is really a task. And yeah, definitely hit that thumbs up, and I will see you in part three. Okay? Doodles!